I'm going to show you how to rebuild uh, your shocks on your XR500 or new an XL. So what you want to do is have another person here, but you can compress the spring just, just down. And then and somebody remove this clip while it's down all the way. You can press down quite a bit. Like, I can almost take it off myself. Already taken off this one. And put this in a vise. There you go. It's gonna untwist here. And this should untwist too. Inspect your rod, make sure it's not rusted. If it's rusted, it's just gonna ruin the ceiling in. This one's good. I'm just going to a little tiny bit of heat here, not much. There's an o-ring underneath here, you don't want to ruin it. There we go. Good. You're gonna have to file that down a little bit. Now we gotta compress the uh, this top piece in a little bit so we take the clip out of there. I'm gonna remove that seal. This, uh, this that seal's still good, so I'm gonna reuse this. Now I'm gonna take a socket here, just put it over that and that. I'm just gonna tap that down a little bit. That's good. Now there's a little clip here. Don't lose this clip. See it right there. There it is. Well, grab it, pull it up. We should go. All right, this should just come out. There you go. Look. Look at all these crap in there. Inspect inside here, no big deep grooves or anything like that. That's good. I need this cap here. There's a, a rubber spacer here, don't lose that. Remember how this goes back together. Now the seal is in here. There's another there's another clip like this around here, which you, you can see right here. I'm gonna put a groove right there with a hacksaw, cut it, and then uh, rotate the spring and pop it out. I'm gonna tap the spring here. So it rotates to that groove. You take a pick, a pick here, and grab the, uh, the the clip. There you go. And this comes off, and you'll see where the seal is. There's your seal. Ten dollar seal. There you go. Now you can still buy these. I bought two. These are hydraulic seals, not lip seals. These are ten bucks a piece plus shipping. I get them from right here. I'll post it right here, right now. I'm gonna clean this. So this seal here measures a little bit over five mil. And when I ordered on the website, it said it was five mil, but if I measure it, I get 4.6. So it's a little, it's not as thick. So I found, lucky I found a, a washer that's exactly 24 mil. 
by 12.8, which is bigger than than 12.5, so it won't rub on the uh, the shaft, the shock, and it was uh, a little bit over 1.7 mil. I sanded it down. Just use just just and uh, I just sanded the uh, washer down. like that it took about 20 minutes but i got her down to uh roughly one mil and this fits just right in there so that'll keep the seal nice and tight all right that's perfect i like it I sanded the shock here, just got a little light coat of uh, primer and I'm going to paint it here with the, some red paint here. Make it look nice. All right, I'm going to use uh, ATF transmission oil. You can buy shock oil, but I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Charcoal is basically just hydraulic oil. Clean your piston. Make the compressed the, the ring there. You don't fill up all the way to the top because when the rod's all the way down, when the rod goes in, the, the rod takes volume inside the shock and it could hydrolock your shock. So it's got to have air gap. I'm going to put the rod all the way to the bottom. See how much oil. So oil is about right up to there. Put a little bit more in there. Okay, lower to here. I'm not going to put any more because that's how much the displacement of the rod. The shim stock here, all the way down here. So allow the oil and air to leak out. Yeah, perfect. And then put the ring in. In the groove inside here. Okay. When you tap in this end piece, in don't go too far below the groove. Anyway, it was down just. A, I tapped mine about a millimeter past. Put the ring in. And popped it out. This is now, uh, now this is now seated against it. I'm going to put these vent holes in line with the eye of the shock below. Scoop this in here. Slide in here. Press the spring with two vice, pair of vice grips, and I put the uh, tie wraps here and I tighten them down. I brought the spring down a little bit. Now I'm just gonna wrist this down here. Ah, there. Yeah, one to go. You might be able to find a seal with the right thickness. 
without using a spacer, but uh, that spacer worked for me. So I'm not gonna be jumping big hills with my bike, but uh, it'll, it'll run perfectly fine on the road and jump small hills. <laughs> if you uh, like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.